In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Pulse 3D headset. I'm going to give my review, my thoughts, my feelings after having these for a couple of months and also tell you about the good, the bad, the ugly with these sort of headphones and if you should buy them or not in 2023. Let's talk about it. So the good things about these headsets are that one, they're really easy to connect to with the PlayStation 5. Basically, they just come with these dongles. You know, if you run out of battery as well, we've got the jack that we can connect to with the DualSense controller. And with these headsets, they've got the onboard options, which are really easy to use. We've also got the L and the R on the insides, so you can tell instantly which way they go. So that's really, really good. They also come with a few different designs as well. I've got here the limited edition version, which was the sort of camo version. We've got the white version. They also come in the black version as well. So if you get like the black DualSense controller and the black face plates, you can also match it with the black Pulse 3D headset, for example. Same with this sort of thing. Now uh, I've got the limited edition camo face plates and the controller, and you can get that limited edition feel with the Pulse 3D headset. In terms of the main design of these headsets, I really like them. So the things that I like about the design is that one, it's really unique. And two, I like this rubber band. It actually stretches because of the rubber. And that's one thing I like about it is usually with headsets, you usually have to expand them to your head and to manually fit them towards your needs as a user. Whereas these, they'll actually instantly just fit towards your size. And in terms of the ear cuffs, it's the first negative. So the material that they're using for these ear cuffs won't last over two years. So for example, my Audio Technicas, so I've had these for a couple of years, about two years now. And this is like the third Audio Technica headphone that I've been through. The same sort of material with these ear cuffs. So over time, they're definitely gonna crack. Feeling them, they're very stiff at first, but they do come in and wear in over time. The material isn't the best material. You can definitely get replacement ear cuffs because they come out really easily. Pull them out like that and they'll come out really easily and you can replace those with like third party products. There we go and they just sort of click back in and you can buy external ones that are third party and you can replace those ear cuffs just in case they get a bit cracked or you know a bit weathered over time. But that is a downside, I guess, for the material. That just comes with normal headphones as well. This is sort of what they normally use anyway. That's the major plus is the design of it, the expandability, it's really good. The ear cuffs, I feel like, will get worn and torn over time. And they're a bit stiff at first. Also on board, it's really easy to use. We've got all of the buttons that you can connect with. We've got an onboard mute button. So once this is connected to your PlayStation 5, the onboard mute button will only be used on the actual Pulse 3D headset, whereas on the DualSense controller, you won't be able to use that mute button. It'll all be controlled on the Pulse 3D headset itself. We've even got the volume button here, and we've got the chat and the game buttons here. So you got different sort of dynamics, whether you want to hear the game audio or the chat audio. And we've even got monitoring on and off buttons as well. So we've got plenty of different options. We've also got the type C input for charging and we've got the jack input. Now, once it is wired, you can't use any of these buttons, but once it's wireless, you can use all the buttons. Uh, we've also got the power button, obviously. So turning it on, you just put the dongle in and then you press down this power button and it will turn on, it will shine a blue light. Because I've got two different dongles, I won't be able to tell separately which one's which. The way you can tell is just by 
putting it in and turning it on, it will make a sound and you'll pretty much know if it's working or not because you'll be able to hear the audio. Now, if you lose these, you're a bit stuck because the Pulse 3D headset isn't cross compatible with these dongles. So these are used for separate headsets. So it's good to label them. There's no way to put an air tag or anything on these. So if you lose them, not really good for your headset because you won't be able to use it because once you lose this, you can't really connect it to your PlayStation 5. So you'll have to buy a new headset. So that's something to keep noted. In terms of the audio settings, we have also got PS5 EQ settings, which was with an update. And you can customize different profiles with different bass boostings or mid boostings, high boostings towards your liking for specific games. And you've got three different sort of audio profiles for that sort of thing. And we've got two different presets and then we just have the flat preset too. That's good because we can now customize our audio settings to how we like it. Also with that, there's only so much we can do. You know, the bass on these Pulse 3D headsets aren't the most amazing things in the world. So doing the sort of audio bass boost is the best we can do with these audio headsets. I do like the audio settings with these. So like the 3D audio effect is pretty cool. I was playing Hogwarts Legacy yesterday, you know, hearing things from this angle and this angle at the same time and having like classical music playing in the background really far away, you know, it keeps things more live and fresh in the gameplay. So that's one thing I do like about the Pulse City headset is the audio driver. And it's also good for like late night sessions, for example. So instead of just having stereo speakers on your PlayStation 5 and waking everybody else up, you can actually use these and get a really good gameplay experience and not disturb like anybody else. So that's the reason why you would want to get these Pulse 3D headsets or just in general, if you can't use, you know, stereo speakers or a sound bar, getting a pair of these will be perfect for you. I personally prefer to use the stereo speakers and a sound bar. In the case of like a late night session or something like that, if I really want to, you know, game, then I can definitely put on a pair of these Pulse 3D headsets. It would be perfect for that sort of user case scenario. Also, in terms of the battery life, they'll last a very long time for you. So it's got 12 to 13 hours of battery life overall. That would probably do about four to five proper gaming sessions for myself. It will definitely last you a while, depending on how long you game for. If you're just using these, probably about two to three proper gaming sessions will be used. The battery life is really good on these Pulse 3D headsets. Now, the last note that I have about these headsets is the onboard mic. Now, it's a bit of a negative because the way they're built is on board. People have said it sounds pretty far away, pretty muffled and picks up other noise in the room because it's not close to the mouth and it hasn't been designed in the best way with the microphone. But for me, personally, I'm not using the microphone at all or rarely because I'm just using it for the 3D audio effect or just listening to the music. I'm not playing COD online or Fall Guys online and stuff like that. So if you are using this sort of headset for online capabilities and chat, then maybe other headsets are probably better for you. So overall, really easy to use, really great connectivity, has the onboard EQ settings with pretty great design. I don't like the ear cuffs that much, to be honest. Really cool 3D audio effects and really great wireless capabilities and battery life. The mic isn't that great on these headsets either. The good of these headsets definitely outweigh the bad. So it's definitely still worth buying and they're great for medium price headset that are great with the 3D audio effect, has great connectivity with your PlayStation 5. So it's definitely still worth buying it in 2023. And like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content and I'll see you guys next time.